Okay, so for this episode, we are going to talk about utility classes. So, with our ray tracing system, we need several classes that are going to be utilized over and over. So, examples would be vector, uh, points in space, normals, uh, color, etc. So, these are just some of the basics. So, this will probably be a two part episode because there's a lot that we need to create, but for now, I'm just going to create a new package. Let's call it utility. And then we will start with our first class. So, the most basic class that we will need is point. Now, we need to distinguish this from 2D space because we will have a point 2D class as well will become clear later as we get into sampling. So for now just point 3D is our first class. So every point has three values, x, y, and z coordinate. Now since we're using computer graphic coordinate system, uh, x and uh, x and y represent uh, how do I explain this without a drawing so basically Z would be into the screen and out of the screen X would be left and right and Y would be up and down so we have our three fields and we need a basic constructor to create a point in space so let's do double X double Y double Z so this dot x equals x this dot y oops there we go this dot z equals z so basic constructor we can create a point in space based on the values we input let's also make a default constructor Now the default values in Java are actually zero automatically, so you don't have to set this, but I like to be careful just in case. Now it is important to note that this may hinder our performance, but we will evaluate this, evaluate this later. It's not necessarily important right now. And let's also make a copy constructor. So point dot x, y equals point dot y, and z equals point dot z. This is important because we don't necessarily want to modify a point by linking, by having more than one reference to the same object. So it's better this way to utilize a copy constructor. So let's see. Set it for the constructors. We have the default constructor, initialize the origin, unique constructor that lets us specify position in space, and a copy constructor that inputs a point and copies its values. Okay, so we also need some methods. So what we're going to be doing is adding points. So let's take another point and let's oops. And let's add those two points together in space and return a new three-dimensional point. So we can just do return new point 3D. We can do x plus point dot x, y plus point dot y, z plus point dot z. Pretty simple standard stuff, but thought I would go through it all anyways. And let's do one for subtract.
Okay, so I think that's everything for our point 3D class right now. So let's save that and create another class. A vector. This is a three-dimensional vector. So a vector is basically um, a direction and magnitude, and we specify this the same way as we did at the point 3D. Now it's actually interesting to note that you could in fact create one class, um, a generic class, and have three values x, y, and z. However, because we want our well, these in for me, in my perspective, I think that a smooth object-oriented design is much more important than necessarily efficiency, although that may come back to bite me in the ass, but I mean, we will deal with that later. So, vector, like I said, a direction and magnitude, so the same as before, let us make a default constructor. unique constructor that lets us create a vector double x double y and double z so this stop x equals x stop y equals y this dot z equals z and then a copy constructor not sure whether or not we will need this but important to have anyways. I like to be thorough. So let's so add that and we can create those same methods. So let's do vector three D. Vector 3D X plus vector dot X Y plus vector dot Y Z plus vector dot Z and then subtract Turn vector 3D X minus vector dot X Seems like a lot of housekeeping, but it will be necessary later. And this way we won't have to define them later. What we could also do is uh, create a dot product. So let's, uh, I'm not sure whether or not I need to explain dot product. Uh, dot product is the angle between two, uh, how do I explain this? Uh, the projection of one vector onto another which gives a scalar value uh, the cross product is similar concept but what it is is the cross between two vectors giving a vector that is perpendicular to both vectors so in this case we want the dot product we want the scalar version which will be useful later for um, Ray object intersection. So we're going to return a double and we'll just call this dot. So we'll do that. So we want to return x plus vector, what is it? x times vector dot x plus y times vector dot y plus c times vector dot c. And we also want a dot with 3D point. X, it's multiplication. What am I doing? Point dot X plus Y times point dot Y plus Z dot point times point dot Z. Okay, so that seems to be all we need for now. Add, subtract, dot, product of the vector and a point. So what we can do is go back to the point class, and we 
can do dot it's a three point oh we want scalar value so return x times point on x plus y times point on y dot with vector 3d this isn't really necessary considering that the reverse we could just um, the dot product is which is commutative since it's addition and multiplication of each component you don't really need this in both classes we could just put it in one so we could have the dots and just the point 3d and just reverse it if needed but when you see the mathematical formula written out on a piece of paper generally you implement it that way so it's nice to have both if necessary and you know a larger executable file in this case jar file doesn't really matter it doesn't hinder performance so generally at least so here we have add subtract dot product point vector 3d seems okay and I think I'm gonna stop the video here I'll just make this into maybe three parts because there's a couple more that I need to talk about but this seems like enough for now let's just compile this and see if it any errors ran okay I think we're good I'm gonna stop this for now